Hot off the press is March 28th. Xiaomi phones are also reportedly throttling performance for some applications and games. This comes from XDA developer. One of the developers by the name of John Poole, founder of Primate Labs, the developer of Geekbench, reported on Sunday that Xiaomi is using the same sort of per app performance tweaks as Samsung's game optimization service. Poole tested the optimization service on the Xiaomi Mi 11 with a custom build of Geekbench, which replaced the usual app identifier with the identifier from Fortnite. The result was a 30% speed reduction for single core performance and a 15% lower score for multi-core performance from normal Geekbench. This throttle for battery life, throttle for performance, throttle for this, throttle for that. All companies are going to be doing it. And we are at the level right now with smartphones that 100% CPU performance is unneeded. Now, because every single company is chasing Apple, every single company is chasing Apple in regards to benchmarks, chasing Apple in regards to market share, in regards to return users, people coming back to buy their phone, they need to pick out features that they can put on advertising. So things like benchmark scores, things like megapixel count for cameras are things that companies can use to promote and sell their products. Unfortunately, the fact of the matter is that we are at a level of CPU performance, of SOC performance, where we are rivaling computer chips from a year ago, two years ago even. And the fact of the matter is that selling phones based on performance metrics means that we are selling phones based on their ability to turn stored electricity into synthetic benchmarky type of scores. A byproduct of doing that is heat. And that gives smartphones two issues, heat and battery life, right? Because even if battery life is not an issue and you're plugged in, a phone's ability to dissipate heat. And keep in mind, like 90% of users use a case and it's probably not a thin, real carbon fiber case like this one. I'll have a link to this review for the real carbon fiber case for $20 from Ally Express linked up here. They're usually using thicker, bulkier silicone cases which insulate devices more. This means that it takes longer for a device to cool down, just based on its ability to shed that excess heat. So if battery life is not the issue, heat is going to be the issue. And Xiaomi, like any other company, is trying to give users extended performance. In fact, in recent benchmarks, the Xiaomi Mi 12 has had serious issues with stability throughout benchmarks. I've watched a ton of reviews of this device from makers like Tech Tablets and other people that do, and Frankie Tech, shout out Frankie Tech, that do back-to-back -back thermal throttling videos. And the Xiaomi Mi 12 is force closing some of these apps, restarting randomly when the device gets to a certain thermal limit. And it's reasons like this that I love my Google Pixel. It's reasons like this that I, I will likely always be owning a Pixel from here on out. Maybe I'll have a Samsung device as well because I'd like to be able to use Samsung DeX. But Google is not playing the performance game. Google is playing the what can your smartphone do smarter than other smartphones games and how can we make an SOC that caters to that specifically? That's it. That's all. Play the dumb performance game, trying to chase Apple, win the dumb prizes. It's pretty simple. Till next time, it's been Mitchell.